Frank Ocean is regarded as one of the most talented artists in the industry, and it's because when he drops an album, everyone stops and listens. It's just, it's undeniable. The type of presence that Frank Ocean has on a track is absolutely beautiful. He's one of the best vocalists in the whole genre at the moment, and you know what? It comes to a point now where we haven't gotten an album since Blonde in 2016, 1,934 days to be exact, since 2016, so... Now the whole community is asking, where is this new album? So that's exactly what we'll be tackling today, guys, is where is Frank Ocean's new album? And we'll be going through all the updates, um, release dates, and our predictions for when the album is going to be coming out. So subscribe if you have not already. And we're going to be keeping you updated with this whole Frank Ocean rollout. So, you know, all the updates that end up coming out, the singles, the album review, what ends up dropping. So we hope you enjoy this video. Lou, let's get into this, man. This is interesting because Frank Ocean is a very mysterious artist. He's the type of guy to drop a masterpiece and then go silent for five years so um before we actually get into this answer this one question for me do you think um anyone else besides frank ocean could pull something off like this because it's been so long bro since we haven't gotten a project at this point a lot of artists in the music industry have to drop an album every year or two to keep their name relevant but there's artists in a different category, the Frank Oceans, the Kendrick Lamars, who can take their time to put together a well-crafted project, and that's what Frank Ocean has done time and time again, and that's what he's going to be doing, I'm assuming, with this next album. And the first major update that we have is that Frank Ocean is shopping his new album around to record labels, and this is a massive report that comes to us from Hits Daily Double, um, a reputable music source that claims that Frank Ocean is shopping his new album and is taking meetings with industry executives and apparently he's playing the new album for them and one of the insiders called the album fucking great <laughs> I like so that. i mean there's no surprises there and this is most likely frank ocean looking for a distribution deal because he is an independent artist but to get that project really you know being sold in all stores being available on all platforms i think it would help the marketing of the project for him to get that distribution deal which is something that he was looking for on blonde so it's cool to see that the album is most likely completed and that he's trying to get it sold to uh, to a record label how do you feel about that especially that now like he did the whole finesse with def jam where it was like 20 million and it just went straight into his pocket because he dropped the visual album before blonde like do you think that frank right now is in a more you know let's say creative zone where he's trying to go for maybe something different like what are you feeling about this new album right now especially knowing that it's probably done and that it's being shopped to labels at this point yeah man i just think that frank doesn't fuck with the industry politics and he's gonna roll out his albums in the format that he wants in the way that he wants and of course when he wants so that's kind of the major question the major question which is when is he actually dropping and um we did have the sighting of a possible rollout back in 2019 when he dropped two singles that were called DHL and In My Room. And there was actually a pretty big fan theory because if you look at the cover art for DHL, at the bottom of the cover art, you see a bunch of different silhouettes where Frank Ocean is taking these different stances. And then we ended up seeing that on the second single that came out, which was called In My Room, one of the silhouettes that was shown on the first single cover for DHL ended up being realized as the actual album cover for In My Room. And when you count the total number of silhouettes, there's 17 of them. That's Not fire. only that, but if you look at Channel Orange and Blonde, both of those albums have 17 songs, meaning that it looked like in 2019 that this was going to be a full blown out project with In My Room and DHL being the singles. Of course, the pandemic happened and maybe that stalled things. But apart from that, he also ended up releasing songs like Cayendo and Dear April, which were available um, solely through vinyl purchase. So Frank Ocean has been releasing music. He dropped about a dozen songs since Blonde came out. But things kind of took you know a slower route because of the pandemic. But... Um, there is an interesting report that Frank Ocean is confirmed to be headlining Coachella in 2023. So that tells me that there's no way that he does the performance without an album coming out. So do you think he drops in 2022? Well, I love the fan theory. I actually never knew about that until we recorded this podcast. That's actually awesome. But um, l listen, I, I do think that it was going to come out in 2019 because... Frank Ocean is not the type of guy to be dropping music out of nowhere, and I think that that it's just as, as simple as that. Like, why would you be giving your fan base, let's say, singles to um, a potential project when you're not necessarily dropping that project? Well, it could have been Lucy's, but, but you never know. Is Frank Ocean really the type of guy to be dropping He's done Lucy? it before. I just, I don't think that, like, it kind of adds up with what was happening with Blonde, because think about it, like, as an artist, right? Like, you drop a masterpiece like Blonde, and 
you maybe have the the opportunity to capitalize on that and you have the opportunity to go further with it like do you not think that that would probably be the best route for him to go with to be able to maybe drop another album as soon as possible but he has said in a lot of different instances where he wants to take time with his art and that he's inspired by different things he's, yeah. so going into the Coachella thing because we're going to get into those other updates later um, it's very interesting because if there's one thing people know about Frank Ocean this guy does not fucking perform for anyone live and him coming in into 2023 is going to be a massive W. So do you think that that's going to lead up to maybe an album before? Like, what's your take on that? I as think a whole? Frank Ocean definitely drops his album in 2022. Um, in terms of the Coachella performance, it's definitely going to be something that's going to be coming before that performance. Um, not only that, but Frank Ocean is very secretive. So I don't think we'll know much about the album until the rollout officially kickstarts. But going into some other updates, let's actually start in 2016 with the magazine interview. Well, magazine article that he wrote for his Boys Don't Cry magazine, which of course is his label. And on there, he said, to be able to take time and prepare a body of work is great. Um, and this just speaks to Frank Ocean wanting to take the time to perfect the perfect album. And the thing with me about Frank Ocean's catalog is that do you really need a new Frank Ocean album when the replay value of Channel Orange, Nostalgia Ultra, and Blonde are so high? Like, as much as I want to hear from Frank Ocean, that replay value is so strong from those previous projects that he's kept me satisfied throughout the years. But another big update came in 2019 for W Magazine, where he said that he was interested in tapping into nightlife music, such as house music and European electronic sounds. And he also says that he wants to collaborate with more artists on the album because on Blonde, the only real feature was Andre 3000. So how do you feel about him tackling, let's say, more of an uplifting sound with this nightclub atmosphere i think that frank ocean could strive in any sort of environment and i think that's what's so important about his sound is um for him to be able to execute on his own terms so that's what i loved about channel orange and about blonde is that it's so personal there's like this extra touch that frank ocean adds to his music that makes you almost feel like you know you're in his headspace with him like he's taking you through a personalized tour of his own headspace and it almost feels like a house tour so regardless of let's say the sounds that he's tackling regardless if it's maybe like it's you know this european nightclub sort of sound or it's this edm sort of sound that he's been mentioning in interviews i think that as long as he's coming into this with his artistry with his vision with you know taking the time on the music you know wanting to polish it and wanting to you know get across all these things it'll do great fucking wonders for him plus i think that you know channel orange and blonde obviously have their own aesthetics and you know you could go in you know expecting different things and getting different things out of those albums but again like when you take this much time to release a project it has to sound different it has to sound um, aesthetically pleasing while being able to do something that you've never done before and frank ocean is that type of artist that not only is he so talented that he's going to be able to execute it but he's going to be able to maybe get into that lane and maybe inspire other artists to do so so overall like how do you feel about that? Like, Blonde definitely had his own sort of vibe, and there's obviously a bunch of different, you know, genres that go into it. It's probably a bit more on the R&B side of things. It's soft. There's a lot of singing on it. There's a lot of bass lines on it, and now he wants to transition into this EDM sort of maybe European nightclub sort of sound. So, do you, how do you feel about it? Plus... I also think that it's going to be much lighter in approach and that it's going to be much, maybe more fun, let's say, as a listen. Yeah. So give me your take on well, that. Yeah, as with, a whole. with Blonde, like you were saying, the instrumentals were stripped back and it was really focused on his vocal performances through um, the pitch switch ups that he had. Also, it was kind of a journey of him trying to find his identity, which was very relatable to a lot of people, him juggling the masculinity and also the feminine side of him. So that was cool to see. But with this album, I think it'll be less personal because another quote from a magazine article, which is the same one from W Magazine, he said, in order for me to satisfy expectations, there needs to be an outpouring of my heart or my experiences in a very truthful and vulnerable way. But right now, I'm more interested in lies than that. Like, give me a full motion picture fantasy. So, so how do you feel about that? I like the fact that he's going to take a less personal approach because if that's what's inspiring him right now, it'd be cool because usually he would go back to, let's say, his own experiences, the heartbreak that he's had. So to see him kind of steer away from that, it sounds like an evolution to me. It sounds like I'm getting something new from Frank Ocean. So it's very interesting. Apart from that, I mean, of course, in 2020, he did suffer the personal tragedy of losing his brother, Ryan. Rest in peace to Ryan. Heartbreaking situation. And that kind of made him take, take some time um, away from being in the public eye. 
And then in 2021, he did come out again um, for this new fashion project called Homer, which is this independent luxury company that sells clothing as well as jewelry. Um, and he's also been spotted at the Met Gala in 2021. So he is making public appearances again. But um, in terms of when the album's coming out, my prediction is 2022. So let me know your final prediction for the release date and also your prediction for what you think this album will sound like. Okay, I like that. So 2022, I do think so. Um, I, I think that Frank Ocean not only needs to drop, but I think that it would also be smart for him to drop at this point because, I mean, it's it's a long time. I mean, 2016 to 2022, that's a good amount of time. That's like six years. So if you keep going up on that, like people are going to start asking questions like, you know, did you retire? Like that's kind of the, the vibe that I'm getting with it. But regardless, like he's that type of, he's that type of musician that allows himself to um, drop on his own time and that you know drops on his own vibe um, we were talking about you know the EDM influence or maybe the European nightclub influence that you know might have been prominent within his interviews and that he's mentioned on on several occasions but I, I think what I just want to hear is that Frank Ocean touch, like that that untangible sound that you can't necessarily pick out, but you know that you're listening to a Frank Ocean song. I want to know, you know, what he's been creating for these past six years, because again, like you were saying, whatever drives him and what's ever driving him creatively will get the best product out of him and will get the best songs out of him. So that's what I want to hear too. Um, plus, like... You know, obviously, there's the whole thing of the 17 song track list that, you know, was prominent on, you know, Channel Orange and that was prominent on Blonde. I'd like to see that make a comeback, but who knows? Maybe a shorter album might be more um, more fitting for this type of project. But overall, uh, you know, it's something that I can't even call because Frank Ocean's music is so unpredictable. You know, you'll never really know what you'll get until you hear the full track list and then, like, you're there wondering what the fuck's going on. Like, I'm still in a period right now, and I promise you guys, anyone who's watching this, I still go into Blonde and find something different each and every single time I listen to it. I go into Ch Channel Orange, and I find something different each and every single time I go into it. Like, it's a, it's a case where you're going to have to receive the album, and you're going to have to take it for what it is. So, I'm going to ask you that exact same question. Exact prediction date, and what do you think this is going to sound like, just from like a fan perspective? Yeah, I'm going to say summer of 2022 for my final prediction. That would be nice. I think that would make nice for, uh, you know, let's say an uplifting and upbeat album that has, let's say, these more party vibes. That would make a lot of sense. And apart from that, I mean, on DHL and on In My Room, we saw that Frank was kind of maybe inspired by Rocky's flow a little bit for the little sections that he was rapping. So it would be interesting to see if he would bring in some more rapping to the project. That would be interesting. But apart from that, I mean... I just love to hear Frank Ocean's voice. I think that as an artist, he makes comfort music. Whenever I hear his voice, it's very soothing to me. I love the reverb. I love the auto-tune. I love all the effects that he blends in. And his songwriting, um, it really makes you reminisce over a simple time. His projects are always kind of drenched in this nostalgia. And he allows us to kind of envision memories that were euphoric and that I would say are unique and ephemeral. And on a song like Ivy, for example, where he sings, I'm not a kid no more, we'll never be those kids again. It's impossible not to have an emotional response because Frank Ocean makes you feel. He makes you feel way more than a lot of artists in the industry. And I think that's why I gravitate towards his music. So I'm looking for something that, you know, I would say ignites emotions out of me. And apart from that, um, it would be cool to see him tackle a different genre i would say he does dibble and dabble in different genres like we saw in blonde and all of his projects really but to see him tackle a new sonic approach would be amazing but let us know your expectations for the new frank ocean album and also your predictions for when it is going to be coming out like we said earlier we'll be covering everything all the updates from the rollout and of course the review when it does drop so hit the subscribe button if you have not already and thank you so much for watching we'll catch you in the next one Thanks for watching the full video and if you're new to NFR, be sure to hit that subscribe button as we'll be keeping you guys updated with the latest album releases in terms of update videos, album reviews, and our own original series on the weekly. And we also have our Patreon plan available in the description below where you can access weekly bonus content and also access to our Discord. So be sure to check out all of that and we'll catch you in the next one.